Omni Propagator back in this thing. Today I want to talk about language. So I've been studying Spanish, trying to learn how to speak Spanish for like, I don't know, five years off and on. And uh, I guess about a year or two ago in my studies, especially when I started studying the grammar, I realized I really didn't even know the English language. The title of this video series is, What are these words coming out of my mouth? Because I really don't believe hardly anybody knows what's going on in the English language. The thing that really trips me out though, is we got doctors, lawyers, we got linguists who know five, six, ten different languages. You know all these smart people but I really haven't heard nothing about the stuff I'm about to talk about in this in these videos it really blows my mind like what the hell is going on on this earth where did language come from shit is fucking crazy so first I'm gonna begin with the prefix in I N. This was really the first first thing that made me think like we really don't know what we're saying. Either that or I'm tripping. I'm reading too much into it. But I'll let you be the judge of that after we finish these videos. After I finish this, this video. So the reason I say the reason I say this is about N is because it has two definitions that are completely opposite of each other. Now, in my dictionary, let me show you my dictionary. This is my dictionary. Nice big thick, thick dictionary, give you a lot of information. I think everyone should have one. Let's see if you got the mental fortitude. <laughs> anyway, so the the first, they got six, seven, almost eight different, different entries in, in this dictionary for the prefix in. And four of those are to have the same meaning. And that meaning is basically two or toward the inside of something. Let me read some. Used as a function word to indicate inclusion, location, or position within limits. <sighs> I don't think I'm going to read all of these. Um, another one, to or toward the inside, especially of a house or other building, um, within a particular place, that which is located inside or within. You get the gist. Okay, this other definition, basically the, the other definition is not. Wow, that's really all they got. <laughs> Hold on, give me a second. So basically it's like a, a negative meaning. If you put it in front of a word, it means the opposite of that word are it's not there. They give some examples. Inconclusive, meaning not conclusive. There. This next one is comes from a video I saw. I think his name is Tom Scott. I'll try to find the link. Well, I saved it on my YouTube playlist. If I remember, I, I add the link. But it's about the word we. If somebody comes, this is the way he explained it. If somebody comes to you and says, we just won the lottery, right? That could be taken in two ways. That could be taken as we, meaning me, and you, who I'm talking to, my audience, or that can mean 
we as in me and my friends, but not you. That's a bit, that's, that's kind of stupid. I mean, why, why don't we have, he, he says that there are languages that, that has pronouns that spe specify whether or not the audience is included in we. Why English don't have this, I don't know. I have some theories. But one thing I'd like to point out, this makes the term we the people that gives it a whole nother connotation in my eyes. Between the prefix in and this 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 pronoun we and among the other things I'm going to talk about in this series, it sure seems like language has been used to confuse us. Now this next one tripped me out. It kind of made me laugh. <laughs> All right, we got three words. Adultery, adulterate, and adult. Now, adultery we all know to mean when a married, when somebody who's married cheat on their spouse, right? But when I read this other definition of adulterate, it made me think a little bit. Let me read the definition. Adulterate, to corrupt, debase, or make impure by the addition of a foreign or inferior substance or element. Now, when words have the same root, they're supposed to mean the same thing. And I guess adultery could mean the same thing, but the connotation there is a little bit too different, especially the way they treat people who commit adultery, especially women, you know, in this patriarchal society. But the other thing I wanted to add, like, what, why is adult, why are they, why do they call adults, like that's, they call us adults, like that's something good. Why would we even want to be called adult, when if you look at the root, or other words in this word group, adultery, it means to be impure, basically. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. Or maybe I'm reading just enough. Shit crazy. Before I end this video, I want to comment on how there's always been, in pretty much any major civil civilization, there's always been an upper class or elite language and the common or the masses way of speaking or the vulgar language. To me, that speaks volumes of what they would call conspiracy, you know, or maybe it's just a rich versus the poor thing. Either way, it's some bullshit. I don't know why there are no conspiracy theories speaking on that, you know, because that's enough of a conspiracy to say that there's a a group of people, I guess, in we say in that in uh, that certain civilization, who want to control the resources of that land in that area. You know, we can start from there and just and and you know, take the conspiracy theory to other levels. But anyway, that's enough for this video. Love and harmony. Love and harmony to all the inhabitants of the earth.